Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dylan. I hope everyone's having a magical day. Today I'm doing a review of the Aurora Ultimate Princess Celebration Designer Doll, designed by Victoria Hamilton, who works for the Walt Disney Company. I already explained what this collection is about in the Snow White review, so if you missed that, please check it out now. I will put a link to the playlist of all of these reviews in the description of this video. So first off, we're going to look at her beautiful box, then the doll, then the little bonus items that come with it. Stay tuned. So Aurora's box has a pink and magenta undertone, which is kind of a purplish color, and it could really um, represent her two main colors, pink and blue, combined together. It says Disney Designer Collection, and it has this shading around the entire box, just as with the others, for added dramatic effect and, of course, designer theme. In the diamonds, there are roses. So the rose has been used as a theme of auroras for quite some time. Um, sometimes they use it with bell, but some, sometimes now we're seeing bell with books and aurora having a rose. So it can kind of work for both. But here, Aurora is given a gorgeous rose in the diamond themes here. So within the pink, there's these beautiful roses. They're very faint. Down there, you can probably see that one a little more. And down here in the corner, it says Aurora Limited Edition 1 of 10,000. So there were 10,000 of this doll made. Here we have the back of Aurora's box. Continued is this gorgeous purple magenta collar with dark shading around it. And there's more diamonds with rose symbols inside. On the side here, it says Aurora, and it has a little diamond tiara above it in a gold pretty font. This is a picture of Victoria Hamilton. She designed this Aurora doll, and she works for the Walt Disney Company. Here is a commentary that talks about how she was inspired by Sleeping Beauty Castle and inspired by Main Street USA. And she used to work, or I'm guessing she still works, in the theme park merchandise development. So she was particularly inspired by Sleeping Beauty Castle and just how the theme parks make her feel. Down here is the product information and then there's a price tag. It doesn't say the price on there, but this was $129 on shopdisney.com or if you were able to get this in a place where you could find it in person. Here the doors are open and we can see the beautiful Princess Aurora here in a display window. The diamond theme is carried throughout the box and on her plastic there is a golden candelabra that seems to represent something that would be in her medieval castle from the 14th century. First though there's little bonuses here. On this side, there is a card that has information about Victoria Hamilton's design. I would include this, but it is simply just a sketch of a shape and not really the details on the doll, but more or less how she designed the dress. Over here is her certificate of authenticity. So looking at this beautiful Aurora doll, we'll start from top to bottom and talk about all of these beautiful themes here. It is definitely though a reference to her pink and blue gown, going from a blue to a pink to a purple and mixing the two in an ombre effect. So Aurora has her mouth shut and this is a new face sculpt, a new type that we've had since the Midnight Masquerade Aurora, which was in 2019. So since then we've had this beautiful face sculpt of Aurora smiling with her lips shut. And I think it just looks so much more like Aurora since they did this. You know, not saying that before it didn't look like the character, but this is just so beautiful. She has blonde hair and she has a clasp in her hair that's holding back a strand. And it seems to be based on her crown. It's golden, it has a blue gem. She has purple eyes, red lips. She has some blush on her cheeks and she's looking straight forward. She has a blue choker around her neck, and this piece here on her um, bodice seems to be inspired by her tiara. 
that Aurora usually wears, but here she isn't given a tiara, more of a barrette, and then this piece here on her gown. Here on her neckline, there's this beautiful rose embroidery, and it reminds me of Maleficent. It also reminds me of the thorns that shielded her castle from Prince Philip being able to rescue her from her sleep. It's just so pretty. On each arm, she has these two little gold pieces that are actually seem to be a part of her gown. And within this, there's also beautiful pink and blue crystals. So as we go down, things become very ombre and it turns into a pink purplish color. These two front panels here that come out have more beautiful rose embroideries and it like I said it just reminds me of the forest of thorns of roses reminds me a lot of Sleeping Beauty and the story of the movie so the big showstopper of this doll is actually these panels that are on the back of her dress so on this side there is a panel of the spinning wheel and there's actually embroidery of the fairies. So that looks like Merry Weather there. But this is a window that has the spinning wheel from her story. And then on this side is another window featuring another section of her story. And I wish that this could have been displayed differently. As for people who don't debox, the best part of the dress is behind the doll. So unfortunately, I wish there was some way that this could have been displayed better but there is beautiful embroidery around these windows and also more fairy embroidery. But maybe if she could be displayed some way with her skirt to the side or her maybe frilling it out some way, it's, it, it's just interesting, but nevertheless, gorgeous. And I wish there was a way I could show that to you. But, <laughs> so my only complaint here is that she could be displayed differently. So wonderful design, it's just I would like to see it without taking her out of the box. Time to look at Aurora's beautiful pin. So here is her pin, it has a purple background and it is representing Aurora as shown in this Ultimate Princess artwork. There's the Ultimate Princess logo and then her rose motif down here. And this actually shows some differences between the pin and the actual doll, but this might be a hint of what happened behind the scenes, that there's like the stained glass windows on her gown and maybe a few little details here and there that didn't quite make it on the doll, but it's hard to say as there wasn't really a whole lot of information given on the design to doll process. But what two beautiful items to have together that make this beautiful collection. Thank you guys for watching this Aurora designer doll review. I hope everyone enjoyed. Make sure you let me know what you think and don't forget to like this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. That way I can continue to grow and meet more Disney fans. As always, have a magical day and you can check out more videos now on my channel. Thank you. Bye.